Hello, advanced biology students. First thing I'd like to address is the daily work question. When you say you don't know it, um, I suspect a few of you guys might, but read the question that, or it asks for bacterial transformation. It's not just specifically asking for any transformation or gen genetically modification, it's bacterial transmission. So read the question right, it'd be really easy. Second thing would be I got two emails asking what are we supposed to do with this lab? The primary thing is to develop some sort of a data recording and you should be able to, I hope, of gotten everything started yesterday. I hope my streak plates got you a bacterial culture that you could have gotten off and gotten on to your um, plates. And if that happened, then I think you guys should have been able to start the lab a lot and we can um, get it to the point where you were making your own street plates and trying to do the transformation. That will then lead you into 48 hours later, so on Monday we'll be able to, uh, it's a little more than 48, isn't it? It's 24, 24, 72. They're going to be getting kind of old, but we can at least try them to see if we can't get some of the transformation to occur. But we should, I hope, be to that point to where you guys were ready to roll. If you're not, and you're holding back because you couldn't get anything started yesterday, then we're just going to have to hold back until... Uh, Monday and I'll make some new street plates on Saturday so that they're ready to roll on Monday for you but hopefully you guys got started Thursday because you had a plan on Wednesday that gave you that on uh, Friday today you were able to do the next step to it and with that next step our goal is to get some data so the data is going to be trying to figure out which plates w had resistance which plates didn't have resistance um, and that indicates which plates started to get the plasmids. Um, I don't have the black lights for you, but I think that would be have to come on Monday anyway. To yeah, it should have to have to come on Monday to see on the black lights to see which bacterials were or gonna grow green if they were. Um, so to answer the questions to the daily work people, I am hoping you are to the point where you're just getting through the experiment so that we can start to do some collection of data on Monday or prepare to collect data on Monday and start to get your own plates ready to go. If you wanted something to do because you have nothing to do, you can start to develop a table to compare plasma 1, 2, and 3. Now remember you're only going to have one that the groups are doing and then we're going to have to share that data to get through and see which one is which which one like plasmid one did it um, did it show up on the LB amp plates did it show up not on the LB amp plates and such so hopefully you're just able to do the experiment is what I'm really hoping you were able to do on Thursday and Friday I don't think I answered many questions <laughs> to you besides I hope you did the experiment, and if not, we're ready to go with the experiment on Monday. If you did do the experiment and you get data, um, find a table of how you can figure out if plasmid 1 is like ampicillin resistant, if it's um, the canamycin resistant, or then the fluorescent if they came into that. But I don't think you guys should be too growth, but maybe you are. We'll have to see how far you got. You're not going to screw anything up. Good luck.